people of booktube it hasn't been a while and i'm sorry about that my life has just been really really crazy with work and stuff and i've struggled to find some sort of schedule to even read let alone do videos so i've kind of been a bit out of the loop lately but i want to get back into it i received a message from one of you guys that watched my videos asking where i was and like pretty much if i'm still alive i am still alive i've been on facebook and stuff as well just to prove that i have been alive but yeah a lot's just been going Going on really I've gained uh, a couple of new tattoos Zelda tattoo got a Pikachu one yesterday uh, try and make so you can see that um so yeah and uh, my hair is currently rainbow colored underneath this wig but that's a different story so today's video is going to be a couple of book reviews mashed into one video because I want to get it out to you guys I'm going to be reviewing Dash and Lily's Book of Dares as well as the sequel The 12 Days of Dash and Lily for you guys these are by Rachel Cohn and David Leverton didn't receive these for review or anything I just simply purchased them myself now I read this book a couple of years ago the first time and then this one it's one of Zoella's so book club books and obviously when reading the first book it left on a bit of a cliffhanger I was like really you can't leave the book at that so I was very excited to see that they had a sequel to it both of these are fairly short books as well and the basic premise of this story is we have the two main characters which is Dash and Lily and there is this book that is left one day with some sort of dares to do and whoever picks this book up is left in a random place and whoever picks it up and does it um, it's basically kind of like finding a guy for Lily and uh, so Dash picks up this book, he does the dares and then he thinks hey I'm going to do exactly the same back to you and so on and so forth so this book is exchanged between them until they finally meet in person and then the sequel is just them continuing on with their relationship so it's a nice sort of quirky story that is just about friendship and how you know just just how it how it's all developed through just this silly book of dares now when rereading this book for the second time i actually liked it a bit more i found that i was enjoying it and i feel that it was just purely because at the time it was christmas and everybody was reading it so it was very very hyped up and with hyped up books I don't have like very big expectations I tend to not like them as much as everybody else so when rereading it at a time that isn't Christmas I read it in January and I felt like it was a lot better I enjoyed it a lot more there was less strain on my shoulders and I ended up giving it an extra 0.5 star last time I gave it four stars and this time I get 4.5 stars I just I still feel like there's something missing from this book whether it's just because of how the book ends um, I'm not entirely sure I actually think um, if I remember clearly it's just something that happens near towards the end of the book like between the characters and I just I just felt like it went really really stupidly if that's like what I remember from it and also I felt like it dragged at a certain time so I think that's why I docked it a 0.5 star but still 4.5 stars is a really really good read I definitely recommend it as a Christmassy sort of read and I just I love like the banter that is between the characters in this one I really liked Dash and Lily and I thought that they just went really really well together in this book now moving on to the second book unfortunately for me I felt like this had a second book syndrome it didn't really live up to the first book I found myself just having my concentration dragged away from this book I wasn't interested in the story whatsoever I feel like it lost the dash and lily flair and actually when looking at goodreads and other people's reviews they felt the same and it ended up being like quite a disappointment that I DNF'd it near towards the end of the book I just had no interest in the characters whatsoever or in to the story also Lily just she really really irritated me in this book just how she saw things that she did as not being wrong yet when reading it we're just like really like obviously that's that's a bit like it's a bit wrong Lily it's it's just a bit so yeah unfortunately 
I didn't like this book whatsoever. Like some parts, yeah, okay. Um, so I'm still <laughs> deciding what to read it. I think on Goodreads I gave it like two stars or something, but it was just unfortunately very, very disappointing. And yeah, it was just there was just no point of this book whatsoever. It was just ridiculous. I'd rather it be left as a cliffhanger than have this stupid, stupid book. So, unfortunately, it was a disappointment. But that's that's just it. It just fell really, really flat, and and just the characters really, really annoyed me. I still kind of like Dash though, but it's just Lily. I just I really honestly hated in the sequel. I really honestly hated. There was. There was no flair, there was no Dash and Lily romance between them whatsoever, there was just nothing and I just, it was a disaster and honesty, like, I, I even kind of feel like two stars now is being a bit generous, but that's just the way it goes, unfortunately that's how I feel about it, so I'm sorry if you guys enjoyed it, whereas I didn't, but not every book is for anybody, so that's all I have to say really on Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, as well as 12 Days of Dash and Lily by Rachel Cohn and David Leviton, I am... Yeah, I'm probably going to give these away to charity. I just, I don't have any sort of, like, feel that I want to keep these. So, yeah. But that's all for my review, guys. And I hope you guys are going to have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep smiling, keep reading, and be happy. And I'll see all of you wonderful, awesome people in my next video. Bye!